Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to set a static IP address in Windows 10. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by clicking the subscribe button. Okay, so the first step we need to do is we need to find out what IP address your machine is currently using. So if you click on the start menu, type in CMD and press enter. If you now type in ipconfig space forward slash all, then if you hit enter now I've got a few network cards on this machine so it's not this one it's not this one it's going to actually going to be the first one because we can see here it's got the current IP address we need the subnet mask and we need the default gateway as well okay so now we've found the current IP address we need to set it on in Windows so if we just click on the start menu again type in network click on network and sharing center change adapter settings and we can see here this is the network adapter so what we need to do is right click on there and go to properties and if we click on internet protocol version 4 if you click on properties there so at the moment it's set to obtain an IP address automatically or it's also known as DHCP because DHCP is what gives you your IP address so whenever you connect to a network it should automatically get the address but if you want to set it manually so what we need to do is we need to select here then the IP address this one the IPv4 address we need to type that in here so it's 1002 was that 15 then the subnet mask is 3255s you need to be very careful when you do this because if you put in the wrong information it's possible uh, you'll have issues afterwards so default gateway is 10.0.2.2 the last thing we need to do is enter the DNS servers so here we can see that there's only one DNS server so I'm going to enter that so every time you enter it in double check to make sure you put it in correctly uh, as we can see here I have done it incorrectly so as long as you put these four options in, you should be good to go. So I'm just going to pin. So as we can see, it's resolving google.com. We get in a reply. So if we click on OK here and close. OK, it looks like uh, it's applied straight away. So if we just do IP config all again. Uh, if we go up, we should see it's got the same settings. Yes, it looks like it. So if I ping Google again, it should, yeah, we can see it's resolved. So it looks like the new settings are applied correctly. So what we've done here is we've given it a static IP address. We've given it a static IP address for the network that I'm on now. Um, be aware that if you go onto somebody else's network, maybe an internet cafe or maybe a school or work, um, it's possible setting a static IP address will not work on that network because it's it be set up differently. So if that is the case, what you'd have to do is go back into the adapter, set it back to automatic. Um, it should then automatically pick up an IP address on that network and it should work. But OK, if you've got any questions on this, please post them below. I'll make sure to help you out. But thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.